Hello, my magical, beautiful friends. Today we're opening up Witch's Root, and this is by the company Witch's Moon. And this is the second box I have received. I pay for this myself, and I loved the first one, so I can't wait to see what is in this second box. And I thought it was totally worth the price. It's about, it comes out to be $29. I believe it's $24 with $5 shipping. I get it through Crate Joy. I will link them down below. Uh, and yeah, you get spiritual witchy things to help you with your spiritual practice so super excited to be opening this for witchy wednesday if you guys like this type of thing um witchy wednesday or just subscription boxes in general i really hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already before you go but i'm just so grateful you're here and let's see what we got i'm so excited let's see open it up like the presentation i remember last time was so just wonderful and beautiful. So this is probably what says everything inside, tied up with string, so cute. And it looks like we have a little note here. Oops. And then I can receive, yeah, I didn't know, like, since I only have gotten it once, I don't know, like, what's, like, a normal thing to get in here, but it looks like we have beautiful, like, grimoire, grimoire, why did I say that? We're, uh, uh, or, like, Book of Shadows artwork, or you could just literally use the stuff in here as artwork, but uh, let's see what it says here. Oh, it says there... Starting February 1st, they're adding $1 to the shipping and handling costs. So it'll go from $29 to $30 a month, at least if you live in the U.S. I'm not sure if they ship elsewhere, but shipping would be probably different if so. Uh, but let's see. And I totally understand that because shipping and costs of everything in general has gone up. Oh my God. That's my paper they use and everything. Goddess of Wealth. I want to be concerned that I am trying to bring in abundance. I've said this many times, but I need it, universe. And thank you for giving me this box, spirit. I'm already excited. So the theme is Goddess of Wealth. And look at how they type everything. Oh my God, I love it. Let me read the intro and then I'll set this to the side. Uh, but yeah, the January theme is Goddess of Wealth. Thank you. I love this already. We're like one second in. I'm like, yep. Yeah. Uh, but as we step into the lighter months of the year, we ba bask in the bright and beautiful emotions of new opportunity, growth, and renewed hope. It is during these months that we stand above the clouds, able to clearly see our purpose on the horizon. We truly become overjoyed during this time of year. Oh, my cat just came on. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. You were sleeping all day. Uh, she must have heard my voice, but... We allow ourselves to focus, I was not focusing on this, sorry, <laughs> on our growth and transformation. In this very special collection, we work with such delicate and peaceful energies, supporting and obtaining new wealth, prosperity, and abundance in our lives. Yes! Uh, wealth is not always associated with physical currency, but rather the amount of blessings, companionship, and understanding that fills our experiences. True! Uh, take th this time these coming months to make your intentions clear and unbound. Know that this is the time where your life changes and manipulates into a more complex and beautiful creation. And then it talks more about um, individual self, connecting with each item in the box. I love it. And then uh, each every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing rituals. I love that they make note of that. Okay, I thought that was an animal. I live in Florida and there are some crazy animals outside sometimes, but it was a car. I was like, what the heck? Um, so we have eight things in here. Emmy, do you want to come say hi? I just got this fear I didn't turn the mic on, but I think it did. So let's start with what is right on top. So we have um, Lakshmi, one of the primary Hindu goddesses. Uh, Lakshmi, I, I believe I'm saying that correct, um, please correct me if I'm wrong. Lakshmi is a goddess of abundance and prosperity, especially wealth, fortune, power, and beauty. Lakshmi is venerated as a principal aspect of the mother goddess, both the wife and divine energy of the Hindu god Vishnu. Lakshmi assists him with creation, protection, and transformation of the universe. And then it talks all about association. So Lakshmi is associated... Um, with Abhaya Mudra, I'm not sure exactly what that is, coins, elephants, love that, gold, owls, lotus, conch, oh my god, look at how beautiful this is. Sorry, my fan's on, I should probably turn that off. It's actually kind of cold here today, but I love this. And then we have another art print here, and this is a plant, and what plant is this? Cascara Sagrada, is it? but I love how these come. So 
it'll tell you like the magical purposes, the health benefits, what stones go with it. Isn't this beautiful? I have two from last month and they're over um, in my kitchen area. And one was like moss agate stone and the other was tea or green tea. Like I love that. So I have it by where I keep my tea. <laughs> So it also talks about colors, origin, other names. So bearwood, bearberry, buckthorn, California buckthorn, bitter bark, cascara. So maybe Christ thorn, holy bark, Persian bark, sacred bark, yellow bark. And yeah, magical properties, magical beings, animals, botanical stones, colors, elements, celestial influences earth and jupiter yes daddy jupiter i love it this is so awesome i'm so excited about this and then everything else is wrapped up super well can't i know i was gonna say this. it feels like a candle can you see the green candle you can kind of see it poking out over there i still haven't looked at it i want to do um or, I don't know into it, but now i need a yellow one it's like gold. So I can like, oh my god, I'm gonna put this on my prosperity altar that they have over there. That I, I'm kind of been like cleaning my altar cloths and stuff, so I, it's not worth showing off right now. Um, I mean, it is worth it, but like you know, it doesn't look as pretty as normal. So let's see. Is there anything I should mention about this golden aura mini spell candle? We have hand rolled this golden aura mini spell candle with the intention of enhancing the visualization you have and the energies around you. As you allow the flame to dance before you, visualize a golden orb growing in size around you. This represents your spiritual magnet, attracting the energies of prosperity and abundance. Work to incorporate this small ritual into your daily workings for the coming months. I love that. Yeah, it talks about the Lakshmi Book of Shadows artwork, the Cascara Sagrada Herbal Grimoire artwork. Oh, and I think we actually get some of the plant in here too. We do. Cool. I don't know much about this at all, but Sagrada. It reminds me of like Familia Sagrada when I was in Spain. Is that even how you say it or am I just mixing it up because I'm thinking about it? But I I'm really excited that we have this. So cool. So I didn't read about all of the properties and everything, but it's a unique and powerful bark that was originally from the buckthorn. Oh, and talks about places. Let's see. I'm just going to skim it. So it has health benefits. To ease stomach ailments, so you can use it like as a tea. And it is said to be burned upon charcoal for before legal proceedings or added to a variety of money and prosperity spells. <laughs> the benefits can help uh, lend a hand in finding a prosper for finding prosperous employment, starting a new business, or simply attracting new opportunities into your life. Oh, good! It has some um, immense ability to dispel negativity, hexes, and or malevolent spirits. And talks more about it. that's great. I I had like a inkling like something like that's going on. I don't want to get into it, but then I've had some tarot readings for this that I need to protect myself more and set boundaries. I'm like, oh my god, you're right. I knew that. It's like you know, sometimes you just need someone else to confirm. But let's see what we have here. We have some ritual incense. It's a soul. Like sun. I love incense. I have it going for a while. I didn't have any incense going, and I felt like that was maybe why I had some bad luck, because I wasn't like cleansing my space in the way I usually do, because I was worried my cat was allergic to it, but we ruled out that's not the issue. Oh, did you hear me say cat, Emmy? <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of my aunts in Santa Fe. What's in this? This is these fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within the collection to bring light and warmth into your sacred space. It doesn't really say, but I always think I think of my like Aunt Megan for watching hi, but I, I think like the first time I was ever introduced to like these scents and stuff like that was you, you guys. Uh, -uh. I love you, miss you. I know you watch sometimes. But let's see what is. Oh my God, do we have a little? Yes. I think this is a little. Yeah, it's a statue out of Lakshmi. Uh, she's also known as Shri. She's one of the beloved goddesses in Hindu pantheon. She represents and holds the power of wealth, fortune, and beauty. I love this. I can't wait to put this on my altar. <gasps> one of my many altars. My abundance, prosperity altar. Oh my god, you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, this is definitely my favorite wishy box at the moment, at least. I love a bunch, too. Like, if you guys... I have a playlist for Witchy Wednesday if you're into this, but look how beautiful this is. I'm so excited. Sorry, my nose is a little 
No, we need a few things going. I, I think this is totally worth it. Like everything is so well curated. <gasps> I want more. And what do we have here? Oh, we need some oil. Like they can't do everything so well. What kind of oil is this? Goddess of Prosperity oil. I need to turn that fan off. It's cold. Um, oh my, I'm so excited. Yeah, Goddess of Prosperity Magical Anointing Oil. It's been created to draw out, to draw new opportunities, prosperity, and wealth to your life. As you anoint your skin or ritual tools, visualize a pulsing glow to all that it touches. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with basil, almond, cinnamon, ginger, and cedarwood oils, and have included calendula and basil herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a quartz. Cool. Uh, so quartz crystal is said to personify oneness into your aura. This is so awesome. We've also included a special mixture of our money draw magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this oil. Be careful when applying to the skin, the base of its sunflower oil. I love that they give so like it's the pharmacist in me, but like just in person in me too, like when they warn you about like any potential allergies and stuff. Um, oh, I see a crystal. I think this is the last thing in here. And of course, this is citrine, right? Like, citrine tumbled stones. So citrine is just like, seriously, like joy, abundance of all sorts, like all things good. Like if you have no other crystals, I mean, well, clear quartz, I'm start with and then like, and then this too. It looks kind of like clear quartz, but it's citrine. I have citrine in so many different forms, but I think the most, the more the better. And I know there's certain ways you can use it to draw on prosperity. Like if you have a business, you can like put it in your cash register or putting it in the left corner of your house or broom. I just do that per room. <laughs> but I think there's like specific, like the when you enter your house, the so most left, I don't know, doesn't matter. Wherever you put it, wherever, however you use citrine, it's going to bring joy and abundance into your life. Let's see. An abundant and wonderful manifestation stone. Citrine is one of our favorite allies while working with to strengthen our personal will, creativity, and mental clarity. This is the most clear citrine I've seen. It's cool, though. Oh, kind of when it hits the sunlight, it looks more yellow. Oh, it's really <laughs> So, yeah, I think this is great. It's an energy generator. Results and manifestation to your life. Yeah, it's bringing prosperity. <laughs> This was so good, you guys. So that was everything. So we got um, eight things. We got the stone, prosperity oil, a Lakshmi art print or a grimoire page, and statue, the um, Cascara Sagrada. I like saying that. <laughs> the herb as well as the uh, Book of Shadows page. We got some incense, candle. I love it. You guys have to let me know what you think. Of course, they will be linked down below. And if you guys have any witchy box subscription recommendations, please leave them in a comment or any subscription uh, at all. And if you like this kind of thing and you like tarot reading specifically, I have another channel called Kitty Outside the Box. I do like pretty much daily pick a card readings and talk spirituality and stuff even more there. I do my unboxings here and that's Kitty's boxes. It's Kitty Outside the Box. I thought it was clever at least. But yeah, I'll leave that down below if you want to subscribe if you haven't already uh, into this channel too. Thank you in advance. But like I said earlier, I'm just so grateful you're here. I love you guys. I hope you're all safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.